Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shomus Biology. In this video, we're going to answer a big question. Is PhD worth it in India? Is PhD worth it in 2023? We are at the end of 2022. So basically, I have made a couple of videos regarding PhD, the dark side of doing PhD in India, some good things, some bad things and all. But this video is something that I'm going to give you a perspective of the ongoing PhD candidates in India and pass out candidates in India. What they think uh, in terms of doing PhD in India basically. So because people always ask like whether I make them uh, fearful for this PhD degree. Obviously why would I do that? Because it's not uh, there's no point of doing this. The idea is whatever thing is real, whatever thing is going on with the lives of the PhD holders and in the lives of the GRF and SRF is something that you need to understand. And I can only understand that by looking at the public domain and the different uh, medium that we have. We have detailed listings, uh, details of all the PhD holders and also ongoing PhD candidates stating their view on the matter of doing PhD in India in 2023. So here I'm going to show you that. Uh, and uh, I'll be sharing uh, the screen uh, sh of, of my uh, computer and I'll be discussing about some of the uh, facts that uh, they, they stated here and then I let you decide whether you you think that doing PhD in India in 2022 and end of that 2023 is worth it or not. So let's uh, let's go back and watch and see. What okay, alright, so here you can see that I search in is PhD worth it in, in India and uh, we have different uh, articles, we have Times of India article, we have Quora and in the Quora we have different uh, PhD holders have their own opinion. So I'm going to give you some idea about it. I have uh, some of them with me. Uh, so particularly uh, the, the article in, from Times of India, uh, the article from uh, the Money Life, both are there. And uh, I'll be sharing some of this and one of the, that kind if we discuss about here in particular Times of India article, uh, this article stated that PhD holders in India usually aim to aim for academic career. So basically if you are applying for PhD you will be uh, thinking of uh, becoming a researcher or thinking of becoming an assistant professor in a university. So either research or academics. Right. But nevertheless the supply of PhD in India has currently outperformed or outtripped actually its demand so obviously there is a relationship between demand and supply and if the demand is high supply is low the price increases and if the supply is more demand is low then the price drops so at the current situation in India as per times of India here uh, the supply and demand is not properly fitting into the PhD game because the supply is huge the demand is less that's why uh, Almost 20, like 2,000 out of 6,000 people grand, uh, granted the science PhD annually in India cannot find a decent job as per their requirements. So this is something uh, I think they have surveyed or some, some place. I think this, this article is dated uh, February 19, 2022. You can see this article. I'll put the links as well in the description. And uh, the second thing that I want to talk about is how and what people are feeling, uh, good or bad. So, so the good things are always listed. In the LinkedIn article you can see here. The good things are always listed, and they are they are they are the broad range of facts that people always say. If, if somebody is asking like, doing PhD good or bad, and you see doing PhD is always good in some terms. Terms like making a difference through the research. Of course, boosting your career opportunities. You can become a lecturer. You can be become a researcher you can do quality research and if you do the research work which is directly linked with uh, the, the the product development or service development which will be directly implemented to the mankind then obviously that is a job that you that somebody need to be somebody need to do otherwise you know we cannot develop ourselves to develop ourselves we need researchers our whole country and the worldwide different countries their growth depends on their research right that's the idea Get expertise in a chosen field of study. Your passion will speak for it. Developing transferable skills means, you know, after doing PhD, you can directly go for, you know, you're a PhD holder. So you'll become a lecturer. You'll become a professor and you'll, you'll provide and impart that knowledge to the next generation to come. That is another thing that is linked to the PhD. Although I, I personally believe that, yes, uh, for, don for, for, for imparting the knowledge to the next generation, one uh, may not require PhD always. They can always go with uh, the graduation and master study with the in-depth knowledge of the subject and more importantly the explanation skills uh, which you need to develop obviously along with that if you have PhD that's a better deal 
so these are always things you know these are uh, bookish things the great networking opportunities uh, change the world and all these things these are everything that are present these are there in a bookish knowledge but what is the practical game like someone practically tell you from the core of their heart yes i have done my phd i have done it like i loved every bit of it no it's not going to happen but that doesn't mean that doing phd in india is not worth it definitely not because imagine one thing you are doing uh, you are continuing with a degree for 5 years to 8 9 years even in some research institutes and 7 8 9 years of uh, of slogging through uh, through the process where you have a guide the guide that so if you are working with someone for 7 8 9 years for this time frame nowadays where people believe 6 month is a huge time frame where 9 years to them is eternity so for that time frame if somebody is doing phd work with their guide so there will be times which is up there will be times which is down so ups and downs will be there you'll see everything but that does not mean that you'll stop the phd in the middle right it's not the idea because the phd guide is going to be more familiar face to you than your parents than your spouse that's going to happen if you are doing phd from a reputed institutes then you will not have any bound time frame to do that you may need to work 20 hours a day sometimes even to get the work done and that's your work your part of the work right so there is no proper guidelines no proper time for uh, lunch or breakfast no proper time for all these things so these things may happen may not happen throughout the career of the phd but at some point of time so there will be good times when people will appreciate for your work and your birthday celebrations your uh, so your trips and all those things will be there those, those things will be a perk of the phd life so there are perks there are down times so you need to work through that because this phd lab is going to be your home you'll be more familiar with your phd lab and what everything is placed in this lab more than your home believe me mark my word so that's why this time frame you need to set this in your mind that that all these things need to happen right there will be ups and downs but you'll stick to it that's what we do if we are in a family we know what people think about us we know wh- what we think about them and we know their good habits their bad habits but still we stay together that's called a family so doing phd in india means creating a new family for that time frame right keep this in your mind so it's a perspective thing that whether you choose to do phd in india in 2023 or not to do phd in india in 2023 right it's a perspective game but always look that matter as glass half full not as glass glass half empty now one more thing that i should say is that in indian education system the selection process is more of a rejection based not selection based there are two types of selection processes rejection based selection based in a selection based process people select good quality individuals by uh, different examinations interviews and all in india we have so much competition so many people we simply follow rejection based rule so we keep an exam those who are rejected are gone and rest are selected we don't select them basically we reject others and whoever is left we select them this is how the phd candidates are screened right and again the same way the phd thesis will be uh, submitted and this is how a researcher will be screened so as a result of which the screening process will not work properly in a rejection based process a selection based process will give you a better capability to select a good quality person to do your research work but in this case not possible right so keep this in your mind now i told you something positive about, about doing phd in india but when i see people uh, and when i want to see for example money like this article particularly it stated something uh, that uh, so it's a it's a made up name sumitra for example uh, so a phd scholar and is writing something i have run every earned possible possible for my uh, guide shadow writing books and research papers for her looking uh, booking tickets uh, for her family vacation carrying home cooked food for her visiting banks and post office so basically a uh, guide is very important while you select your lab in the, you can see that it's not only the case of uh, Sum- uh, sumitra here i believe it's a case of many people that uh, the guide will use you for many things you know ghost writing Uh, the book and paper then uh, and and doing their other things like you know carrying foods making foods for them and uh, booking tickets for their family's vacation or so you you may ask yourself like why i qualified csr net for 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 booking a ticket for someone so i'm not a pa personal assistant but you may need to do many things 
in terms of you know sticking together if you do a phd in india the guide should be someone who should lead you towards the path to completion most guides lead their doctoral students into a rabbit hole out of the total number of enrollments in a doctoral course only 8 to 10 percent scholars manage to complete the program i don't know whether this 8 to 10 percent is based on any survey or not but if someone is stating that usually if you con if you do the work concrete then it the phd should complete by 18 to 36 months which i uh, also believe but there are too much distractions and so many things that are uh, working uh, to prevent the phd to be completed uh, by 18 to 36 months now whatever there's a huge uh, article out there uh, and everything is placed like that but what i want to see is how the comments are uh, pinning here because other people are reading this article and they're commenting very true phd guides of iit won't help scholars but want very high quality papers from them very greedy of papers which helps them to grow their own career okay next one yes it's true education in india needs a total revamp only mhrd and central government needs intervenes whatever uh, HR dean and professor uh, anyway uh, absolute truth people have described their ordeal that they have to do their post office or bank work ticket give them uh, ghee 10 kg each meeting jaggery and all anyway uh, agreed with the article written by you it's true uh, is uh, before joining the program in india not think only think uh, only thrice think at least 100 times anyway i can understand uh, the agony in fact guides are facilitators to do phd but in contrast it becomes hindrance to pursuit okay the article is true i know many people who are doing their phd uh, and are facing harassment and they have also to do their guides personal work okay anyway the quality of phd discourse in management from the universities awarded uh, dissertation topics and their enclosed whatever uh, well the written article is along due to the approach of magazines money life and other mainstream news about the uh, most research in india first of all thanks for bringing this article and get okay this is a huge thing uh, huge uh, part of the writing here success ratio about the masters in btech one is to hundred in this process written Uh, spread to society media mhrd government okay well written article but the bigger problem the author left to say is a sexual mm, torture by guides even female guides can be blood suckers anyway so these are the list you can see i have n I, I didn't find any even a single comment which was positive and uh, actually disproving or disbelieving uh, the article in fact most of the people commenting here supported this article make me think twice here uh, another one what are the advantages of doing a phd in india you see what are the advantages of doing phd in india so research takes a lot of time okay four to eight years don't do a phd to check off the box that you got all your degrees okay that's another thing uh, what other people are stating is it worth doing phd in india if you do PhD thinking that highest degree will translate higher paying job, no, no. But yes, uh, if you want uh, to become a university professor, yes. So in simple word, uh, this is kind of a true idea that is stated. Most of the PhD holders as well as ongoing PhD candidates, they are not, uh, they are not uh, excited about doing PhD in India. But again, uh, what are the opportunities that a person should get? Not everybody has the opportunity to, not everybody has the opportunity to continue uh, in uh, outside of India because going abroad uh, from your masters takes money, time, effort and all these things. Not everybody can offer that, particularly in this field of life sciences where I believe. Now, if we get a market for job, corporate sector job or any of the uh, technical part of the job, right that is the qc qa r d positions for uh, biotechnology microbiology and all the life science candidates that's one deal but in india if you want to stay in india you're not getting that part of the job very high because the salary offered for this job is 18 000, 20 000 rupees per month at the starting which is not at all decent to run your own life at this moment in 2023 on the other hand if people try for phd then in that case 
doing PhD in India requires you to qualify CSR net life science, CSR net examination, which is complicated examination, a tough examination. But even after qualifying that examination, you will be provided the opportunity to do PhD in India. And while you do PhD in India, you can continue in Indian PhD system. And again, the same question comes in. Now, should you do that in India or abroad? Because again, the same thing, if you lack money, you cannot go abroad at the very beginning to do that. After PhD, you can do postdoc abroad. That is a possibility. And that's uh, most of the researchers will do because during PhD, they'll build the contact so that they can move out of India to build a better career with better salary expectations. So again, as I mentioned earlier that I will not say anything because I stated my view earlier in a separate video. But here in this video, I'm going to share the same idea that is PhD worth it in India in 2023? Is it worth it? Worth it? The answer to that, there's no single answer that yes or no. Again, as I told you, it's a perspective thing. It may be worth it to you if you have proper plan with your PhD. If you plan your PhD with your future uh, goal then you can plan the phd but most of you don't have a clear plan what you're going to do tomorrow so doing phd and the plan for future is a big deal in most of the people at this present time because the life is fill, filled with distraction so you need to have a proper you need to have your vision properly clear and once your vision is clear then you can think through that yes doing phd in india is good or doing phd in, in india is bad but again once you decide focus in that aim okay because if you want to stay in india you need to do phd in india you need to decide that yes all these things that they are saying may be true but in that case you need to handle it properly you know in any office there's office culture there is always uh, something good or bad about it same thing happens to the phd some good and bad things so you need to select your phd lab properly select your guide properly in order to have a glitch free phd experience so all the very best if you want to do PhD in India and obviously if you want to qualify CSNet exam then we run CSNet online coaching program. You can join our online coaching program. The details are in the description as well as in this video. Thank you. Bye.